You guys want to know a funny fact? It's actually not even a fun fact, it's a funny fact. In fact, it's hilarious because I actually don't even know who I think I am. I was going to get ready for this video. I was actually going to put makeup on. I was actually going to do my hair. And then I stepped outside and it was like, Ellie, it's 30 degrees, babe. You are not fooling anyone. How are you going to pack for your wedding with makeup on? So we are showered and skincared. And that is as good as we're getting today. It is so hot. Little Miss English Rose over here is not coping in the heat. Why is British sun so lethal compared to a broad sun? Guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like we all just need a moment. I feel like we all just need a round of applause because today is the first wedding video. Guys, I literally can't believe I'm actually in this phase of my life. I'm actually getting married. No, it is so crazy and I'm so excited and we leave in two days and oh my god, I actually, I actually don't feel like I've been as excited for anything in my life, like other than obviously giving birth to my gorgeous son. I just feel like, wow, I'm just really happy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just really happy and that's just my emotion right now to be honest. Oh my lord, I've been trying to get my ish together for literally ages. Like, oh yeah, you don't even want to know how long my to-do list is. But I'm still that person that is panic ordering stuff on next day delivery. I kind of would have thought I would have managed that personality trait by now for my wedding day. So that thing where it's like, you know what, if we forget anything we can just buy it out there. It's like, yeah, right Ellie, okay your wedding shoes. I'm just gonna buy them out there. Okay. Anyway, cheers. Let's get packing. Drink of choice today is peach, no, listen to this, okay. Peach squash with cream soda. No added sugar, cream soda. Judge me all you want, couple of ice cubes. She's in a straw cup, but without the straw because she got lost in the dishwasher. So we're just faking it. Oh. Would have been a cup of tea, but need I say. It's 32 degrees outside, once again. You actually don't even want to see the state of my house right now, guys. It's actually embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this all within the next hour of Connor being out the same, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. Dream team, you and me. I was gonna start this video in like an hour when I felt like my life was a little bit more together with it all, but let's be honest, packing is just never neat and tidy is it? You can order all the packing cubes in your life. You can order all the tiny little organization storage boxes for your jewelry and for your hair bands. But let's be honest, packing is not pretty. Packing is stressful and packing makes you feel like you need to do a whole spring clean of your whole house. At least that's how it makes me feel anyway. So, so I'll show you what I'm working with right now. Okay, this is my view ladies and gents. Here we are. We're out here. Don't even ask me what all of that stuff on there is. It's returns. It's bin do you guys ever do that thing where there's so much like stuff to put in the bin upstairs so you just start like making a fake bin out of like a cardboard box out of the thing that also used to go in the bin or like a bag that also used to go in the bin do you know what i mean so two suitcases ellie i hear you ask yes darling this one is mine she needs to be organized this one over here is a little bit more organized and this is like basically a spare suitcase for the wedding bits. So for instance, do you believe me if I told you my wedding dress is in that box? Yeah, we need to talk about that guys. Underneath this white box, half of the suitcase is filled with my bridesmaids dresses. I am actually flying them out with me because they are being steamed the night before the wedding and I might not necessarily see like certain members of the bridesmaid crew before steaming session does that make any sense so yeah um i've just gone round and collected all of my bridesmaid dresses and i'm taking them out with me so please please easy jet let's just not manifest babe losing my luggage because i don't know if my bridesmaids will forgive me anyway let's talk about this shall we because this is exciting i feel like this is a right if you're having a wedding abroad let me tell you amazon she was about 20 pounds guys not the dress. I wish it was about £20, <laughs> but let's not talk about that. This is literally called a wedding dress travel box. Do you know what? I'll leave it linked below. It doesn't look like much, guys. It doesn't look like much, but there is no way I was going to put my wedding dress in a suitcase just in case, God forbid, any of our luggage obviously did get lost. But yeah, it's actually quite spacious. Or does the dress just roll down really small? 
who knows? I do and you will very soon when you see our wedding pictures. <laughs> I've also got my wedding accessories in that box and I've also got my outfit for the night before the wedding too. So yeah, it's quite a handy box. Um, it's working really well. I mean, I'm gonna like sellotape around the sides and stuff because can you imagine if my dress just spills out on the plane? Can you imagine if the box just broke? And then Saint was like sick over my wedding dress. Can you imagine if that happened? Intrusive thoughts, intrusive thoughts. Wedding earrings are in here. Wedding ring. Wedding shoes are in here. So that is all gonna be like my hand luggage for the plane. I'm not taking any hand luggage other than my dress. Uh, it's not too far of a flight, so hopefully we should be fine. I'm just gonna fill this side of my suitcase with more like wedding bits. So for instance, my bride hat for um, one of the days leading up to the wedding where we're doing something fun. My bride slippers that my maid of honor got me. My getting ready pajamas. I've got loads of boob tape for all of the girls that any body might need some boob tape because I always need boob tape. And then just random stuff like this as well. Disposable cameras. I thought that would be so much fun. We're gonna dot them all around the wedding. And I'm going to beg everyone to take pictures on them and hope that no one forgets and hope we don't leave them um, out and actually remember to take them home. Yeah, I thought that would literally be really, really nice to put in like a guest book. So this is the wedding suitcase. This is what's going to go in here. Do we discuss all of my stuff? Do we even want to? Okay, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys the absolute essentials that you need for packing in my books. If you are not using packing cubes, babe. It is 2022. You need to upgrade, okay? When you get packing cubes, it's like you become a whole new a whole new person. So, packing cubes. I've got blue ones for Saint. I've got these, like, beige ones for me. And Connor has black ones. They just make it ten times easier to pack all of your stuff, to keep it all organised, and to unpack when you get to the destination. Just as an example here, I've got my little one full of my underwear. I've got this one full of all my swimming stuff already. So I need to pack up the rest of my stuff and add it to these ones. I mean, you don't always get all of your clothes in there, but even like flip flops or I don't know, it's just really good to like compartmentalize your stuff. And then a few kind of like organized bags. So I got this pack of three wash bags off of Amazon. They come in pink as well. I went for white because it's the wedding, but in another world, I definitely would have got the pink. So it's those two sizes and then also this little one, which to be honest, I think I might just put like adapters or something in there, like charger, electric bits, just because it's spare. Obviously, if there's anything else toiletry wise that I need to put in there, I will. But this one I've stocked up with all of my skincare. So we've got literally everything from my cleanser, SPF, moisturizer, toner, everything in there. Some cotton pads. I've got my favorite ever lip balm by terry got my rose quartz facial roller in there so that's my little skincare one and then this big one we've got a whole bunch of stuff basically hair care and body care and do you know what actually i'm gonna put in here as well my fake tan literally bought a whole new pack of filter just for the wedding i have not actually used another fake tan since filter was released obviously i love molly to death but genuinely it's not biased at all i love filter love it and i do get a lot of questions on my fake tan and i'm telling you it's filter i've literally no this is like actually mad i have literally not booked a spray tan for my wedding because i'm going to be using filter that's how much i believe in it and then i've also just got the um drops as well to put into my moisturizer so we've got olaplex i've got shampoo and conditioner i've also packed the purple olaplex as well just because obviously i have blonde hair i will not be dealing with yellow hair for my wedding day so taking that i've got my deodorant in there i've got a bit of p20 because it's the best favorite ever after sun oh my god if you guys if you know this you are ogs babe comment below comment below what days i used to use this what holiday does this whole after sun remind you of obviously i need to pack my toothbrush toothpaste stuff like that but you still have a few days until I need to do that so I'll probably just pack all of that literally as we go then in these bags which again are just little Amazon Ziploc bags I will leave all of these links below these are like the handiest bags you could ever ask for I feel like these are the beginner step to, to packing cubes over there they're like the queen these are like the princess have made like a little emergency bag in here we have okay what do we have now I'm really showing off my mum's girls. We've got plasters, we've got blister plasters, we've got seasickness tablets, we've got anti-mosquito repellent, we've got paracetamol. It's just a bit like an emergency kit. Oh my god, I'm not feeling good. 
pop that out. And then in this bag, I've got random bits that you can see here. I've got a little pair of scissors, my hair bubbles. I've got like my big hair claws that won't fit. I've got a big scrunchie. I've got earrings and jewelry that didn't fit in my other little jewelry section that I'm going to show you now. Nipple covers that actually came with the boob tape, which I thought was quite good. Wasn't expecting them in the bottom of the box. Um, yeah, so just like bigger bits and bobs really. And then the small bits, I just bought these little compartment boxes that you can take out like these slidey things to make the compartment as small or as big as you want it to be so in here i've got my earrings and a little bit of jewelry actually i think that is all earrings in there then in this one i'm still yet to finish this one off but i've just got my bobby pins and then little bands like that in case you know i'm feeling a 90s moment and i want to do a few cute braids over here i've got my big makeup bag from angel collection obviously i've done a really big decluttering of my whole makeup bag so i'm only taking essential makeup bits that i know what i always use and then i bought this off of amazon but to be honest i'm a little bit you know disappointed because they're bulging out but this is supposed to be a makeup brush holder thing and to be fair actually if i even hold it upside down it's not like it's spilling out but yeah just bear that in mind if you want to buy these it literally fits about one brush in it up here i have a few little accessory bits that i just need to kind of put in the suitcase my favorite scents that i'm taking with me ken halligan's cairo i love Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. I don't even know if they still do this. This perfume is old. This is like, oh my God, this is embarrassing to admit, but I literally think it's like two or three years old. Still smells good. You know, we're not judging. And then I'm also actually taking this one, which is Angel or Demon by Givenchy. And this was actually the scent I was wearing when Connor proposed to me. So I thought that might be nice to, you know, be sentimental and everything. And then I've got my wedding scent in its box because I haven't used it. I've been so good. I literally really want to keep it for the actual wedding. And that's already in the suitcase. And then over here, um, I've got a few of my favourite sunglasses. Obviously the Tom Fords. Would I even be getting married, guys, if I didn't take the Tom Fords? I feel like they're just OG. My new favourite Colt Gaia ones. I've got my new YSLs in there. I also thought it'd be fun to take the Chanel's, you know. So I figure it's about time for a time lapse. I think I'm going to just organise and get stuff in the suitcase and see what else we need to do. I know I need to choose my shoes and my bags, but I feel like when I've gone through all of the outfits that are currently hung up and waiting for me to put in the suitcase, I can envision a bit better what I need, you know? Fingers crossed, wish me luck. Time for a biscuit break. If you haven't got your biscuits yet, pause the video, go and get them. Time lapse is requiring a biscuit. Let's go. suitcase now i just need to kind of do last minute things like charger toothbrush etc and i also actually just want to quickly pinterest <laughs> don't know if anybody else does this I literally type on pinterest and i'm like packing list for this kind of country or packing list for baby and i literally just mentally like pick it all through and just make sure that i've got everything pretty sure we're there like i spent the last 26 years preparing for this moment you know anyway these are the shoes i'm gonna take these are all my heels and these are my flats and this is me really trying to be minimal do you think i'm gonna take just like a really comfy pair of flip-flops because you know you just cannot beat a pair of primark flip-flops but the question is do i go for pink or black oh, such a hard decision maybe i'll just have to take both i wanted to show you guys as well this really cute edition i was going to be filming a 10 things i bought for my abroad wedding but actually I don't really have 10 things <laughs> like i have three really important things i'd say the first is definitely the box to take the dress in second is maybe the disposable cameras because i'm really excited about those the third is this that actually my best friend i made of honor bought me so she actually bought me this when we first got engaged and it's like a little tie to put around my bouquet with a picture of my mum in it and then my auntie bought me this little i think it's actually called angelite this stone an e on it and that's my something blue and yeah it's just really really thoughtful really lovely and 
just so special i can keep it forever you know i feel like that is me pretty much done to be really honest with you i managed to pack saints earlier this is all of his stuff waiting to go i packed his very similar to how i packed mine except i included toys and snacks in his suitcase and then in his hand luggage we've just got a couple of books his favorite thing ever is a book a lift the flap one a musical one or one like this where you can move the things we also got this for him which is like a little travel pouch so i put his passport and stuff in there with saint seven swift on it spare outfit obviously we've got nappies blanket uh wet wipes all that kind of stuff and then i also bought this off of amazon which i felt like would be just incredible for any other it's kind of singing to saint it would also be amazing for any other mums out there that really were like oh my god my baby or toddler is now getting into everything what can I just quickly whip out on a plane to satisfy them? And I found this, which is called a busy book. And it's basically just full of like loads of fun things for them to just fiddle around with. Like a zip and a little pop thing there. Laces and buckles and um, on this page. I actually got a little whiteboard, which I thought was so cute. I wrote Saint there the other day. It's kind of rubbed off, but look, this was Saint's scribbling, guys. <laughs> I'm very proud mum but yeah that is definitely coming on the plane with us it's an evening flight so i'm hoping he might sleep but who knows he has slept on the plane every time we've taken him before he's actually been good as gold on every single plane journey we've ever been on but um i don't know like every time i get on a plane with him i think oh but he's just that little bit older now he's just that little bit older like is he gonna actually fall asleep on me again is he gonna be able to be settled i'm sure it'll be totally fine I feel like every mum that gets on an airplane thinks about that, but there we go. Guys, okay, I do have to speak quite quietly because Saint is asleep, but same room, same me, except I've got my brows and lashes done and I fake tanned, and I've got my wedding nails done. This is what I went for, guys. What do we think? It is the day that we are leaving for our wedding. We're about to be going to the airport shortly when Saint wakes up, but I have all of the suitcases, apart from Connor's, laid out here in front of me, ready to do up. I had to add a couple of bits to Saint's suitcase, and I also did a little bit of a boots haul, so just thought to finalise, I could just show you Saint's suitcase because I find it interesting as a mum, like seeing what other mums pack. Here we are, ready to go. This is um a little outfit for saint to wear today down here thing is ready to go in my wedding dress box i've literally managed to somehow squeeze everything in there guys like even my shoes honestly i'm telling you that box if you're getting married abroad is a total lifesaver this is inside saint's suitcase here like i said um packed it very similar to how i packed mine we've got packing cubes this one has a swimming costumes in we have sleep suits in here we have shorts in that one and then i think like tops and all in ones in that one sleeping bags we have a random meal here and some rusks that didn't fit in his food bag so this is his food bag in here i'm not going to get it out because it's literally like full to the brim in there so i'm worried that everything's going to spill out if i open it but this is a really really handy bag from zara home that i purchased a while ago and i was like maybe it'll come in handy maybe it won't but when you're a mum like storage is always gonna come in handy do you know what i mean it's actually done really well as when we go abroad like putting all of his food and snacks in and stuff so yeah in there he's got more of these little meals i don't really intend on feeding him much of these at all when we're out there they're more just for like emergencies if he's really hungry and can't wait till we go out for dinner or lunch or whatever we've got loads of biscuits um, and things like that all of his little shoes in here toiletries again he's got like his own version of my emergency little kit that i showed you guys earlier nappy cream dummies uh like cowpole and things like that then over here just some more crisps lots of toys under there for him a couple of books nappies towels some formula muslins and yeah that's all of us ready to go to be honest guys so i am gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for watching this video and i literally can't believe it's here like i really really can't believe it i am actually going to try and vlog as much as possible like it is my goal when we are away to actually just like record as many beautiful memories that we're going to be making as possible so do look out for the vlogs I try really hard to do an airport vlog as well because obviously this is like our first time filming again where we're going abroad and I feel like it would be really cool to like share our life with our baby and like how traveling is a little bit different for us now and yeah anyway wish me luck guys love you all so much thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one let the wedding series begin mm.
Bye, guys.